Okay, so in the previous video I showed you how what the meaning of the K360 was and I showed you the meaning of Ks and what we've done here is called the general solution. Let us look at the second example. This time I'm looking at cos. Now you need to understand that cos, the period is also 360, so I'm also going to add intervals of 360, K360. So this time I'm asking where is cos positive a half. Okay, so I'm also going to get my reference angle. To get your reference angle, you're going to say shift cos of 0 0.5 and it gives me 60. Okay, then I'm asking myself, where is cos positive? In the third, uh, first and in the fourth quadrant. So then I'm going to say, let us work in the first quadrant because that's where cos is positive. In the first quadrant, we are using the angle equal to um, 0 plus, because that's first quadrant, although you don't have to write 0 plus, plus the re I'm acknowledging the repeat. And we are just saying, I know that it must be, the k that I'm using must be integer. Then I'm going to simplify this, and this is my general solution for the first quadrant. It's very simple. The only thing that's difficult is to understand the principle behind all of this. But the work itself is not difficult. Now we're looking at the fourth quadrant, because that's the second place where cos is positive. Fourth quadrant. And it helps to write down in what quadrants you're working. It just ordens the stuff for yourself. Now we're going to say the angle is, fourth quadrant is 360 minus the reference angle plus the repeat. I've already written case. I don't have to do it more than once in one sum. Okay, so 360 minus 60 is 300, plus K360, and this is the general solution. Let's look at tan. Tan is a little bit different, but not too much. I'm also going to get my reference angle. Shift tan, shift tan 2. That's going to give me 63,43. Sometimes you will have nice round numbers. Sometimes you'll work with a decimal. Don't be scared of the decimals. Now, tan, the period of tan, this is one graph. This is a second period. This is a second graph. So a period of tan is not 360 like sin and cos. The period of tan is actually 180. Okay? Because between minus 90 and 90, there's one completed graph. The period is 180. Okay, so in this case, we are not going to repeat 360, we are going to repeat 180. But there's another catch coming here. In this specific case of tan, this is 0, 90, 180, 270, 360, correct? This is the period of tan. I am not working until 360 as I have done with sin and with cos. I am eliminating the last two quadrants. With equations, with tan, I'm only acknowledging first for positive or second for tan negative. So in this example, tan is positive. I'm only going to be working in the first quadrant. I'm only going to do one of these sums for tan because of the fact that the period repeats each 180 degrees and not each 360 degrees. Can you see in one graph, there's only one place where it cuts. Not as in cos where there's two places in one graph. Only once, only once, only once per graph. Therefore, there will be only one answer. Not two as in cos, not two as in sin. I hope that makes sense. So we're going to say it's in the first quadrant, therefore it's 0 plus 63. You don't have to write the 0 plus. And then I'm saying it's repeating each 180 degrees, not each 360. And we will say we acknowledge that K must be an integer. Okay, guys, I'm going to stop this video. And now, actually, it's quite a lot of time still, so I'll just do some examples still on this video. Um, but basically, what I need you to understand at this stage is this is just a tool. We won't do this in the sums. I'm now going to do the questions as you will find them in a test. I'll do some examples. This was just to explain to you sin and cos and tan. But we will never draw the sketches here. Okay?